Yesterday, we asked Peter Ducey to ask the president about his absurd claim that inflation was already at 9% when Biden came into office. Well, uh, a different reporter did, in fact, <laughs> ask that very question. Somebody took us up on it, and they asked uh, about the 9%. Listen to the response. I'm going to ask you about how the president talks about inflation. So for two times over the past two weeks, the president said inflation was 9% when he came into office. Is the president misleading Americans on that? Or does it just not realize that inflation was 1.4%? Well, you know, 1.4. Thank you for the question, because I know yeah, that this, we had a lot of incoming on this yesterday. Uh -huh. And look, I, what the president was, the point that he was making. <clears throat> What's the point? Uh, is that, uh, that he's a slime sack of crap. The was in place when he uh -huh. walked in. The conditions. The what? When he took office. No, no pause it for a second. That is not the point he was making. He wasn't talking about the conditions that were in place. He was talking about the rate of inflation when he took over. And he lied that it was 9% instead of 1.4%. And it's a massive lie. There's no way around that. Uh, what he was talking about, how long did that take them? To come up with that garbage explanation, right. and it even had a spot come in her on great big book of everything. If you'll, see. I mean, she's like, oh, here comes that oh, yeah. nine percent question. They planned for it because they knew somebody was going to ask because he's been lying about it not just once but twice now, and so they knew they were going to be faced with it eventually. Somebody's going to ask, what's this nine percent thing? Uh, what can we say? What can we say? Can we say that it was the conditions <laughs> that were about to lead? To the nine percent. How about that? that Let's write go. That yeah, let's put that in the big, great big book of everything. Yeah, that's a good one. He was talking about the conditions that would lead to nine percent. <laughs> no, no, he wasn't. I don't think no. he's that smart. He's <laughs> he's not. He's not. And the conditions were in place for one point four percent because that's what the inflation rate was. One point four percent during his hideous administration it went up to nine percent and that's what they're trying to avoid that's what they're trying to get you not to acknowledge that it was nine percent at one time during his reign here his reign of terror all right let her finish Jeez, okay this is agonizing so that this we got a lot of incoming on this yesterday and look I th and what look, the president and, and was, the point that he was making no it's uh, not the is point that, he was making. Uh, the no. factors that caused inflation was in place when he walked in factors. Into the, the factors was in place, place. You okay. as you know sure. the pandemic caused uh, inflation around the world uh, to be uh, 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 by disrupting uh, uh, our economy uh -huh. and uh, breaking our supply chains as yeah. you know we had to act quickly on Positive dealing percent. with the supply chain yeah this doesn't work because because it was a year mm. of the pandemic for Donald Trump, and it was still 1.4%, <laughs> Pumpkin. It was 1.4% a year into the pandemic. It was only during your administration that this thing kicked up to 9% and is still 3.4%. Still haven't gotten it down to Trump levels. Nor will they ever. She's so good. Oh, God, She's so good. In fact, you know, the other day it. she was asked uh, a question about Trump's trials, <clears throat> and she said that uh, she can't talk about stuff related to the 2024 election. Um, you were asked about Trump's trial. Yeah. Are, oops. Did you just admit that, oops, that this that has you're... all been a sham? Uh, and she engineered did. by the White House, the Biden White House, all of these cases against Trump uh, to keep him off the campaign trail. Mm -hmm. And you've got that that hideous judge who is giving him the off day of Wednesday, you know, mm -hmm. so he can't go out and campaign much. Stack the duck completely against him to try to get a conviction he here. He can't talk about it. And they, they, they've taken away his, you know, First Amendment rights. Mm hmm. In in a in a case that should have never ever in any sane world gone to trial, this is insanity. Have we finished with her? <laughs> have we finished? With I think there's yes. like a couple of seconds. Yes, uh, <laughs> a couple more seconds. Let's see what she says. Uh, by disrupting our economy and uh, mm. breaking our supply chains, as you know, we had to act quickly on dealing with the supply chain. Oh, you're so good at it. Task force. You saw the president do yeah. that. Yeah, and I saw inflation go up to nine percent as you acted quickly. 
<laughs> I can't take it. Again, it could have been 20. Yeah, but right. But it was nine because it he was nine. acted quickly. Oh, that's what it is. Come on, guys. <laughs> right. That's the same uh, argument that the Obama administration used. Yeah. Remember that? For unemployment, it, it was, was 10%. Well, at least it's not 14 or 15%. Yeah, it was. Uh, You're welcome. Okay. This was the uh, greatest economic crisis since the Great Depression. Just imagine what it would have been without uh, uh, Barack Hussein Obama uh, yeah, rising jumping in to there. the occasion. Right, with his Marxist that. policies. Yes. Right, yes. right. Without his Marxism, who knows where we'd be. We'd all be in a ditch somewhere right now. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, Biden plans an executive order to shut down the border once uh, crossings reach 4,000 per day. He's going ahead with this. <laughs> Despite saying he needed Congress to act I on this. <laughs> How many times did he tell us that? Uh, Congress has to act on this. I can't do this unilaterally. Uh, but well, they need to pass this. Mm-hmm. Really? Okay, well, now he's planning executive action that will allow him to shut down the U.S. border. Uh, once the number of migrant crossings reaches 4,000 per day. So that's not good enough. So when we get down to 4,000 a day, then he's going to close the border? <laughs> yeah. uh, how about the goal should be the zero for the government? Yeah, it should. <laughs> not 4,000. Yeah. But is that going through like the actual port yeah. or illegally going through the river? It doesn't matter, but yes, okay. it should be zero. Mm-hmm. But it is the port, yeah. Uh, the order would match a provision in the bipartisan border bill. That failed to pass the Senate in February, which gave the president authority to expel migrants when border crossings reached the same daily average. The legislative proposal would have given the Homeland Security Secretary discretionary authority to carry out removals, but would have made deportations mandatory when the entries surpassed 5,000 per day. Uh, during a one-week period. But again, I thought we had to wait for Congress to get off its butt. And, yeah, that's what I thought too. Possible, but, but no. 